Hey guys, welcome back to the Arsenal career mode. And as you guys know, it's not going very well at the moment. We are out of every competition, except from the Premier League, of course. You can't be out of the Premier League, but what you can be is out of the Premier League race. And as of right now, we are top of the league by five points and we have 10 games to go. So what I'm thinking is two episodes left of this season, five games, five games, get fired and then start a new career mode. No, I'm joking. We, we shouldn't be fired, although it, it might be close. Just thinking in general, like I almost got fired last year, I reckon. So the first two seasons with Arsenal definitely have not gone to plan, despite building a really strong team. And I know a lot of people are a little bit upset that I've obviously brought in a lot of players, um, but that's just, it's just the way it's gone. I've, I've always seen these deals pop up and players that I think will fit my, my team and then I'll change formation then I'll need someone else and it just spirals out of control. It gets very exciting buying players and that's what career mode is all about really, isn't it? I mean, what is the most fun thing about career mode to you guys? Leave your comment down below. For me, it's 100% bringing in new players and trying to fit them into the squad that you've got. Um, but also, I do understand some people saying they like to not make any signings and just deal with the players that they've got. It's more of a challenge that way. Um, but either way, guys, five games today. Now, what I do want to do in this episode is use more players that I haven't been using. I want to bring in Lacazette more. I want to bring in Iwobi more, uh, Ramsey. Just get these guys into the team a little bit more. But our first game is up against Man City. We all know they have not been doing so well in my career mode uh, series so far. They're still in ninth. Um, last year, I can't remember where they finished, but it was nowhere near the top six, let alone the top four. So it's a little bit mad. So we'll go into this game hoping to win and hopefully playing a lot better than we have been recently because it's been pretty woeful. Another player that I want to use a little bit more towards the end of this season is Meza Ozil. I feel kind of bad because he's lost his place in this team because we've brought in so many great players. But he is still one of the best at the t in the squad, one of the best in the team. So we're going to use him today. We're actually going with a lineup that we would have started this career mode with, except from Kimpembe. He's the only new player that we've signed in this lineup. Otherwise, it's a fully fledged Arsenal side that you could expect to see in a game today. Aubameyang and Lacazette up top with Ozil behind. It's a 4-1-2-1-2. It's a formation that I'm very comfortable with, but have not been using for some weird reason. We'll see how we get on, especially with Ozil behind the two strikers. It, it could be a recipe for goals, that's for sure. That's a really good ball back post for Sterling. Leno's punched it. They've got a very good lineup today. I still have no idea how they're not higher up the table. Sane on the left, Sterling on the right, Aguero down the middle. It's such a strong team. And we have potential to get smashed if we're not careful. Oh, no. Oh, Kimpempe, the block of dreams. Go on, Ramsey. Go on. Oh, it was on target. Maybe just about on target. And Edison had to make the save. Oh, this could be dangerous. Don't let him shoot. Sane with his left foot is lethal. He's gone with his right. And that is a good example of why you need to show him onto his right. Five minutes until the break. Here's Sane. Torreira's got back, but I haven't won it. We have now. Okay, we passed it out to Aubameyang. Not a great first touch, but we've got Lacazette with it now. Okay, now it's push. Put it through for Aubameyang. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. Please finish this, Aubameyang. It's off the bar. I think Edison got a touch. It's not over yet. Still not over yet. Win that header. Go on, Mesut. Go on, Mesut. Hit it. Oh, my God. How have I not scored from this attack? That's really nice play, you know. Put it through for Bellerin. Lacazette could be in the box here. Oh, go on. Go on, Ozil. Again, saved onto the bar. You've got to be kidding me. I mean, <laughs> it was Meza Ozil as well. I thought he was going to place it. I, I really couldn't have asked for a better player to be in that position. Corner coming in now. Socrates saved again. What is it going to take to beat Edison? Go on, Lacazette. Get in there. Go on, Laka. Yes, that's what it takes to beat him. Finally, we get the goal. Lacazette. Brilliant, brilliant header. Meza again here. Aubameyang could be on the run. That's nice. Okay, we need players to get into the box here. Trying to work out what I want to do. They haven't won it. Come on, Lacazette. Back here to Ramsey. Near post. Saved again by Edison. He's quite literally man of the match right now, I would say, for, for City. He's keeping them in this. Six saves he's made. Corner coming in. Aubameyang to Kimpembe. That was a shot. <laughs> that was a shot by Kimpembe. Going to pass that across over to Torreira. Going to try and get around Gundogan here. Go on, Torreira. Go on. Oh, he just got tackled. 
Two minutes, come on. We can do this. Try and get a second goal, maybe. Go on, Laka. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, that's the end of the, uh, end of the game. We, we've managed to do it. We've held on in that second half. Really big result that. 1-0 against City. I can see why they're not doing very well. They're just not very good, even with all these players. It doesn't really make sense. Man of the match was Meza Ozil, by the way. It was announced on the Tannoy that Meza Ozil was man of the match. So we're going to go ahead and give him a nice run of games because he did play well. Moving on into the next Premier League game, we have Wolverhampton Wanderers away from home. Brand new stadium in the game, which is really nice. The modern new stadium, I think it's called. Yeah, it is. And uh, we're going with another very strong team today. Of course, this is the only competition left that we're, we're fighting for. So I can use my main team and not worry about a Champions League game coming up, an FA Cup final coming up, things like that. Wolves have really impressed me in the Premier League, by the way. They look like such a, a well-organized team. They've got so many great players in there. Neves is one of my favorite midfielders at the moment in the Premier League. And they've made some signings in career mode here. Zielinski in there, Ings up front, that's a good signing as well, and here's Neves, oh he's hit the bar, Neves, when he scores they're often very nice goals, oh just giving that away with Draxler, oh Mesut, doing his defensive duties well there, here's Iwobi now, a bit slow to get on the run but we're going now, I think Bellerin's going to be my best option here, put him in, okay now back post for Lacazette maybe, actually look on the edge of the box, here's Draxler, we know what he can do, Gets blocked by a Zielinski. Now here come Wolves on this left side. Bellerin got a touch on it, but it wasn't enough. They've had 88% passing accuracy, which is very decent. And they could have been in there. What a save by Leno. We've got away with that one. Now here's Iwobi over to Lacazette. Go on, Iwobi. Keep running. Keep running. Oh, great ball. Okay, we can see Ozil back post. I don't really want to pick him out, but I'm going to have to. Shocking cross from Iwobi, though. I could have done so much more with that. And Meza Ozil apparently is not having a great game. Let's hope for a better second half. Here's Torreira. It's Draxler. Through for Awa. That's a penalty. That is a penalty all day. What is he thinking? Why is he sliding in there? He could have just shoulder barged instead. The fact that he's gone to ground and taken him out, it's a penalty all day. Awa with the run. Oh, I can kind of see why though. He was very close to the ball. Okay, we've got a big chance here. We're going to go with Lacazette and we're going to go in this top left corner. Oh, it's beautiful. What a penalty. 1-0 and it's Lacazette again. Go on, Torreira. Pass that inside. Little 1-2. Actually, no, we'll go with Kolasinac over on this left side. I'm going to hit that. Go on. Oh, it's been parried out. Go on, Iwobi. Oh, it's just wide. He deserves a goal. He's been brilliant. It was actually deflected, was it? Okay, we'll get a corner instead. Torreira to whip it in. Good delivery, but Patricio... Good catch. Just a few minutes left in this match, guys, and I'm, I'm really hoping we can keep a clean sheet here. Could do with another three points. Oh, that was not good defending. We get away with it, though. It's going to be a goal kick. I'm just going to hoof this up the field. Hopefully, this should be enough because I am going to be extending the lead at the top a little bit more, which means we can be a little bit more comfortable in the run-in. Oh, hang on. Could be in again here. It won't be. He does deserve a goal, and he's going to get it. And it's a beauty. He's really deserved this. It's a fantastic finish. Cuts inside. Finesse is it. In off the, the top of the post there. I mean, no goalkeeper in the world is going to save that. Messi would have been proud of that finish. But there we go. That should be enough. 2-0. That's two clean sheets so far today. Three goals. Lacazette's been doing well. Iwobi got himself a goal as well. We're, we're looking good right now. So looking at the Premier League table, next game is West Brom at home and they are down in 18th place. So I think it makes sense to simulate this one. We should be getting a win, but you never know. You, you, you can't ever predict anything when it comes to simulating games, but uh, at least at home, it's more likely. They've lost their last three games 1-0, I just saw, and they've lost this one 4-0. Holding, Williams getting two, Lacazette scored again. And our next game is Newcastle away from home and I'm going to change up the team completely. I've used a 4-4-2 in a career mode I've been doing off camera just for fun and I really liked it so I thought why not give it a go. We're going to go with Williams and Lacazette up top, Dembele and Gnabry on the wings with Torreira and Xhaka in the middle. Now I'm not too sure about Xhaka being one of the only two centralised midfielders because he is so slow but we're going to give it a go. Worst case I can bring on Ramsey um, who else could I play there? Draxler, Alwa. We've got some good choices. Kolasinac, Kimpembe, Mukiele and Bellerin with Leno in goal. Let's see how we get on against Newcastle. 
So one thing I've noticed already... Oh god, that was very close to Xhaka. Why aren't you just sticking out a leg? What I have noticed is defensively this formation can be lacking a little bit. You, you do leave a lot of space in between your midfielders. Oh god, that was dodgy. But going forward, you gain a lot of space. You can actually run into a lot of space. This is a good example of it. I can just run with Williams here. Lacazette's making his run. I don't think I'll pick him out though. Gonna play it inside here to Gnabry. Finish it, son. Oh, it came off Ake. Here's Gnabry again. Into Lacazette. Through for Dembele. Good first touch. He's through here. Can you finish it, though? Yes, he can. Too easy. I just... I literally ran through them. We'll take that. 1-0 up. Don't know how many minutes in we are, but we... Okay, 26 minutes in. We, we've made a good start. There's no denying it. Also, another thing I want to mention is... Aubameyang has clearly been one of my best players in this career mode so far. Certainly top scorer but having bought Williams I've realized that Aubameyang is actually pretty clunky in this game and I'm sure a lot of people will agree I think it might be his agility I think Williams actually in general is is a better player in this but I don't know cross coming in maybe no it's been blocked I really enjoy using Williams he's definitely an, an Aubameyang replacement put it that way good touch oh Lacazette brilliant how many minutes added on just two here is Granit Xhaka now to Torreira Back for Xhaka. Hit it. Oh, it's deflected by Ake again. How many times is he going to get in the way of these shots and these chances? Let's get the corner in. It's going to be the last bit of action of this first half. Kolasinac. Oh, he's done it. He's made it 2-0 right before half time. Perfect time to score it. Well, so far, Newcastle have definitely been better in this second half. But, of course, they're 2-0 down. They have to go for it. Mukiele should have that. Keep it in. Oh, come on. I'm sure he kept that in. They're making a change now. Looks like they're bringing on... Is it Atsu? I think it might be Atsu. I'll win that. Yes, okay. Let's hit him on the break if we can. Here's Xhaka, who's had a very good game next to Torreira. They've been absolutely fine. See Lacazette in a bit of space. Put it over the top for Gnabry. What a ball that is. The keeper's not coming out for it. They hit it in the box. Oh, oh, it was a beautiful cross. The keeper parried it out, but no one was there to pounce. I've brought on Mendy because Kolasinac was so, so tired. I don't know why he had full energy going into this game. But here's Dembele now. He's turned his defender. Cut inside. What a tackle. That was unbelievable. And now they're going to get on the break with Voland. Nah, Mukiele's there. Gosh, he's so strong at tackling. And now he's going to get us on the break. Here we go. Xhaka over to Gnabry. Into Lacazette. Into Williams. Back into Lacazette. No, he's just he's won the ball at the last second. Come on, Gnabry. Nice bit of work on the wing here. Going to play it over to Torreira. In for Lacazette straight away. Put it through for Dembele. He's in. Into the box. Go on, finish it, Williams. Oh, Jesus. His left foot, man. That was so bad. This will be it for Newcastle. Is it going to be a consolation goal? I don't think it is. Win that header. Oh, come on, Lacazette. You can jump higher than Shelby. But there we go. It's a big, big result once again. Newcastle could have been a very tricky side to play against. The 4-4-2 worked really well. I was very impressed with it. So I think I'll use that a little bit more in the future. So now, guys, to end the episode, we have the North London derby against our main rivals, Tottenham, who are, by the way, in second place, six points behind us. If they win this game, they cut it to three points, which would make it very interesting going into the final few weeks of the season. However, if I win this game, I think we'll win the league. That will take us up to 72 points with five games to go. I think that's probably going to be enough, but you just don't know. There is Pochettino. Is he going to stay at Tottenham? What do you guys think about that? Do you reckon he would be tempted to go to Real Madrid? Right now, they're in a situation where they need a new manager. And I don't think there's many better options out there than Pochettino. He, he is one of the best managers in the world, I would say. But he hasn't won anything with Tottenham. That's the one thing that's holding him back. You know, he doesn't really have much he can put on his CV other than he's developed the best Tottenham side probably ever. They're a, they're a very good team. And let's take a look at their lineup. Lloris in goal. Uh, we've got Fabra, Sanchez, all the way around, and Guerrero. Very nice back four there. Wanyama and Thiago make up the two DMs. We've got Keita Balde, Ale, uh, Ale? Ali and Son, and then, of course, Kane up front, a 4-2-3-1. Well, funny you should say that, because we're going to match that formation. I'm going with the 4-2-3-1. Leno in goal, Bellerin, Mukiele, Kimpembe, and Kolasinac, who was colossal in that last game. Meza Ozil and Torreira apparently playing DM, so this is a bug, and it's driving me mental. Sometimes when I put the team together, 
and then I go in game like we've done today. Look, this is not what I wanted. Dembele was on the right, Xhaka was back here with Torreira on the right, him on the left, and Meza Ozil at Cam. Please tell me I'm not the only one having this issue where it completely ruins your lineup. It happens all the time. But anyway, we fixed it, and let's hope it's enough to beat Tottenham and extend the lead at the top of the table. Throw that to Gnabry. Here we go. First break of the game, maybe. Try and put that on the left side for Kolasinac. Okay. Mez, it's not the quickest. But I think I'm going to have to pass it inside. And again, yes, we've still got it. Dembele. Through for Torreira. Oh, go on, Torreira. Why not? Oh, go on, Torreira. Why not? What a finish. This guy is probably the first name on the team sheet, both in real life and in my team. He is so, so good. And he scored the opening goal against Tottenham. I can't remember what the result was last year, last season in this stadium. I think we lost, didn't we? I've tried to clearly put it to the back of my head and forget about it. But maybe, just maybe, that's the first goal of a couple that we're going to score today. Dembele, he's got the ball in a good position. Onto that magic left foot. I'm running out of space here. Now here's Gnabry. Go back post for Dembele. 2-0. That's how you work it around the defence. We got there in the end. I make so many mistakes in those situations where I overplay it. But in this situation, it has worked. We've crossed it to the back post and Dembele, he's been able to score again. It's a lovely cross from Gnabry. Maybe Lloris could have done better there. Who knows, but we are 2-0 up. Here's Harry Kane on the ball now. Kept him quiet so far. Oh, we almost got through. That probably should have been a foul. Wanyama wins it. No way. Get out of here, Kane. Did you see how dodgy that deflection was? What is that header as well? <laughs> Aubameyang pretty much passing it back to the defence, but we're going to try and put him over the top here. Pass it inside. Go on, Mesut. Over the top for Gnabry. His fellow German teammate. Come on. We're in for three. It is. It's 3-0 against Tottenham before halftime. Oh, I just need to pray to the gods that are out there that decide football games that this happens in real life because I will cry of happiness. It's a dream. Imagine going 3-0 up against Tottenham in the first half. That would be incredible. That surely is going to be enough to win this game. I, I don't see Tottenham fighting back from 3-0 down and it is going to be a nine point gap between us. Here's Wanyama in space. He's going to try and pass it through. He's managed to. Here's Thiago now. Oh, that's a good ball. Oh, great save Leno. It was kind of straight at him luckily. Wanyama not known for his goal scoring ability although, do you remember the one he scored at Anfield? That was unbelievable. Oh, oh my god Leno again with the save. Deli Ali probably should have scored there. It's a brilliant header. And I've just kicked it straight into Harry Kane's nuts. I've just made three changes. Because why not? And here we go on the break. We've got Aubameyang back post. Gonna try and pick him out. Oh, it's gone straight to Draxler. He's just come on. He's hit the bar. That cross was not intended for Draxler, that's for sure. We've brought on Williams. He's going to play on the left wing with Aubameyang up front. I mean, two very pacey, tall, strong attackers there. And Drax has done well to win that back. Let's put it over the top. He's going to have more energy. Here we go. Let's keep running here. Let's try and get in with a bit of skill. Nice. And again, onto the right. Finesse it. Ah, oh, it just gets blocked. Uh, it looks like Aubameyang's down. I think he's picked up an injury. That's not good news. He's got back up, so clearly he's going to try and run it off. But that is worrying. Although we've got an informed striker in Lacazette. We've got... Aubameyang, uh, not Aubameyang, we've got Williams. Yeah, he's got the injury there. That's that's really frustrating. Hopefully it's nothing serious because this result, I should be feeling happy, not let down because there's been an injury. Oh, we're in. And it's going to be Williams running through on goal. Is it going to be four? It's going to be the last moment of the the last of, of the second half and I've missed it. I've, I've completely fluffed it. Thank God that wasn't a moment to win the game and I, I would have missed it, but it doesn't matter in the end. 3-0 against Tottenham. What a way to end the episode. Thank you so much for watching. It's been great fun, this one. We've not conceded a single goal, have we? Is that the first episode I haven't conceded a goal in? It might just be. I don't know. Either way, I'm really happy with my performances. It looks like we will be winning the league in the next episode. And then next year, we'll be back in the Champions League. And that will have to be our ultimate goal. So make sure you drop a like. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on notifications. And I will see you in the next episode very soon.